The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, or JLTV, is replacing the U.S. military's aging Humvees. Built to operate across rugged terrain, secondary roads, and open country, the JLTV combines mobility, protection, and performance in one platform. It restores payload capacity and protection for the Marine Corps, regaining what was lost when Humvees were heavily armored during combat operations. At the same time, it provides the level of protection required for modern, 21st century battlefields. Its greatest advantage is survivability. The JLTV was designed from the ground up to keep Marines safe, with ballistic, mine, and IED protection built into its core. Powering the vehicle is a 340 horsepower Duramax engine, optimized by Gale Banks Engineering. This allows the JLTV to reach speeds of over 70 miles per hour and cover more than 300 miles on a single tank of fuel. With 22 inches of wheel travel, its advanced air over hydraulic suspension smooths out impacts from obstacles like rocks or railroad ties, minimizing vibration for the operator. The first 5,500 JLTVs were delivered beginning February 28, 2019, and all were fully fielded by 2023. The idea for the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle was born in 2006, out of lessons learned during the Iraq War. At the time, the U.S. military relied heavily on the Humvee. But most Humvees were unarmored, and even upgraded versions suffered heavy losses once roadside bombs and improvised explosive devices became common on the battlefield. To improve protection, the military began adding more armor. It worked, to an extent. But the extra weight reduced payload capacity, slowed down mobility, and strained the vehicle's design beyond its limits. To counter the growing IED threat, the U.S. quickly fielded nearly 29,000 mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles. These massive trucks, including the Oshkosh MATV, provided far better underbody protection but came with trade-offs. They were heavier, slower, and struggled on rough terrain. The JLTV program was launched to solve all of these problems in one design. It aimed to combine the mobility of the original Humvee with the protection of a mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle, all in a smaller, lighter, and more versatile vehicle. Weighing roughly two-thirds of an MRAP, the JLTV could be airlifted by a CH-47 Chinook or CH-53E Super Stallion helicopter and even carried by amphibious ships. It's also 70% faster off-road, allowing Marines to move quickly and escape danger zones when needed. Oshkosh's core 1080 crew protection system adds another layer of safety. With advanced armor materials, energy-absorbing seats, blast-resistant floors, and automatic fire suppression systems. The JLTV is a replacement for the Humvee. The Humvee was first fielded to the Marine Corps in 1984. It is 1970s technology. It has done a great job. It achieved its mission in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and got us through the first couple years in OIF and OEF in the start of the 21st century. But the changing of the battlefield, the requirement to have armor capability with an engine that can basically carry the, uh, the additional weight necessitated the need for a JLTV. 
The JLTV boasts a 340 horsepower Duramax engine dressed out by Gale Banks as well as an Allison 2500 series transmission. Allison is the uh, primary uh, vendor that uh, feeds all our other tactical vehicles so there's a lot of commonality that the uh, Marines will be able to identify quick and be able to uh, fall in on. Also has a uh, armor B kit provided on 100% of the vehicles so it's ready to go into the fight. It also has a, a comm suite giving uh, VRC 110 radio capability on 100% of the vehicles. Uh, it has electrical outlets, has USB ports, and has uh, 12 volt uh, power to uh, attach other uh, C4I capability, as well as uh, radios and uh, Blue Force tracker. The Humvee is an aluminum skin vehicle that was not designed to be on the forward edge of the battle area. The JLTV has the capability to actually operate outside of a FOB in harm's way and give you the payload protection and performance that you need to accomplish the mission. At Camp Lejeune, technicians from the Office of Naval Research tested a new XM914 weapon system mounted on a joint light tactical vehicle. The 30mm remote weapon system was live fired to demonstrate how advanced firepower can be integrated into the JLTV's modular design. Built with adaptability in mind, the JLTV can support a wide range of weapon configurations, from light machine guns to heavy cannons and missile launchers. This versatility allows Marines to tailor the vehicle for different missions, whether it's direct combat, reconnaissance, or base defense. In another training event, Marines conducted live fire drills using the M250 caliber machine gun, also mounted on the JLTV. Let it go. Half load! Full load! These exercises not only improve weapons proficiency and platform familiarity, but also highlight the JLTV's ability to maintain stability and accuracy, even under heavy recoil. All right, guys, this is, I'm sure, the moment that you've all been waiting for, the inside of the JLTV. The vehicle was designed with the soldier in mind. Everything from the camelback cutout to the way that the seat goes up and down to fit every soldier in the Army Reserves. One of my favorite features in the new JLTV is the digital display unit. It's a Windows-based system that gives the soldier total control over the vehicle. They're able to view temperatures, uh, pressures, and the camera views for the front and the back backup cameras. Okay guys, this is the new JLTV engine. It has a 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel that's capable, capable of producing 340 foot-pounds of torque and 660 horsepower. If you guys look, we have the turbo right up in this area that helps the vehicle get up to the maximum speed that it can get up to, which is 76 miles an hour. As you can see, we have up armored windows and doors on the exterior of the vehicle. They're capable of withstanding small arms fire. And since all of the controls are on the inside of the vehicle due to the seals, the vehicle is capable of going through different operational statuses from fording mode to operational status to tie down, and it even drops into a loading status. The JLTV's also got extra functions on the back of the vehicle as well. It's got an installed rear backup camera that's gonna assist with safety and ground guiding while you're in the motor pool. Uh, speaking of safety, we also have a black box that's installed in the back of the vehicle that is going to record statistics and give the command analysis in case of accidents or rollovers. The JLTV also has an Allison 2500 special purpose transmission that's installed on it. 
It runs a two speed automatic to the drivetrain. The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle represents the military's answer to decades of lessons learned on the battlefield, balancing speed, protection, and versatility in one platform. Built for the modern fight, the JLTV bridges the gap between mobility and survivability, redefining what a tactical vehicle can do in 21st century warfare. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this.